Hey everybody, welcome back. Jordan here. Today we're going to be taking a detailed look at the brand new LEGO NASA Space Shuttle Discovery. This thing is incredible. It comes with the Space Shuttle and also an awesome representation of the Hubble telescope and which can be stowed away into the payload bay of the Space Shuttle. 18 plus style packaging, of course, 10283 is the set number. 2,354 pieces in this awesome set. The back of the box shows us a few more images of the space shuttle. The payload bay is opened up there and the Hubble telescope is attached to the space arm. Also you can see the size of the model 54 centimeters or 21 inches long, 34 centimeters or 13 and a half inches wide. That's from wing to wing. Got some real images of both the Space Shuttle and the Hubble Telescope on the bottom of the box here. Here we have our instruction manual, pictures of both models on the front cover there. And then real life images of the Space Shuttle Discovery and also the Hubble Telescope within the first couple pages. Meet the designer, future endeavors, then what our bags create in the next few pages there. And then actually more real life images of the Hubble telescope and also the set itself. Then we got building. In my humble opinion, I think this is the best Lego space set ever produced and definitely the most accurate space shuttle set ever produced by the Lego group as well. It is fantastic. Obviously with the huge amount of pieces that went into it, they were able to do some things that they've never done before. It is huge and it is tremendous. And I love how they paired up the space shuttle with also the Hubble telescope, which on its own is a breathtaking build as well. It could almost be its own little set. Both can be displayed on their Technic display stands and also both come with these specification plaques. There's the one for the Hubble telescope and then also this one here for the NASA Space Shuttle Discovery STS-31. The nose of the Space Shuttle Discovery is really well sculpted. And you also get this little detail right here, which is actually produced using Technic pins. The flight bridge or cockpit of the ship can actually be opened up and that will reveal four different seats and also all sorts of control panels in there. And that's just behind the uniquely printed windscreen. We've got Discovery stickers on either side. And this will actually go further down. And there's another flight deck down there as well. The main body of the ship is actually covered using these new panels, which are exclusively found in this set at this point. And it can very easily be opened up at the back here, just like that there. And you've got some reflective panels in the inside. The stickers were somewhat of a pain, but they look really good. In here, there is the space arm and also some cameras along with the USA 1x2 print piece there. There's lots of space in there as you can store away your Hubble telescope. The wings in the back here are created using all sorts of tiles and also plates. Included in that is the 6x6 printed tiles USA one there, and then also the NASA Discovery one here. You can see the trim of the ship is black, dark bluish gray, and then the black and white dorsal fin on the back here as well, which will actually open up like so. Some friction air braking, I guess. And then we have our thrusters on the back here. Thrusters are pretty cool and they actually do move the wings. When you rotate this one here, you'll see those flaps on the back of the wings will move. So that's a nice added feature. And then there's one other thing here as well. And when we push this forward, the landing gear will actually shoot out of the bottom, just like that there. So you could display this thing in a landed position as well, not even on the Technic display stand just like that there. And that reveals our Technic display stand 
and which holds the Space Shuttle Discovery up off the ground. On the side of the payload bay doors, there's also a NASA sticker element, and just below that is a 1x8 print piece that says United States with the USA flag. And from this angle here, the sculpting of these thrusters looks amazing. And then we have our Hubble telescope, which is simply incredible. I swear this could be its own little Lego set. It's awesome. It can be displayed on this little display stand here. That's probably how I'll display mine because it just looks so good. And it's got this little hatch door right here that can open up. And that will reveal our lens in the inside, which is created using a transparent dish element with a gold stud. And then we have our solar panels on either side, which essentially can be moved. They're a little bit finicky, but if you move them right, they can be moved in any direction, 360 degree uh, rotation. And those are created using some uh, vinyl elements with gold finish and the dark blue. I like to just keep them fixed because they're a little bit finicky, but uh, it definitely works out nice. But just check out the detail with the yellow highlights and those chrome elements. You also have a wheel on the back here along with some more uh, little details there. The Hubble telescope is amazing. Why don't we take it off the display stand here and pack it away into the payload bay of the space shuttle. So we actually got these little accessories here. This acts as a stand for when the Hubble telescope is hovering just above the space shuttle there. And we also got these here, which represent the large solar panels when I guess they're folded away. So I guess the first thing we do is we remove our solar panels and put the gold arms on just like that there. Have to close the shutter. Open up our payload bay here. Remove these clips from this little stand here. Put them into the Technic elements in the bottom here. I forgot to show off that uh, NASA print piece. That's pretty neat as well. Release your space arm here and articulate it. Take this stand here and there's actually four open studs, two on either side. Clip that down. These two jumpers will go onto the top of that stand there. And then we attach our space arm to one of the open clips just like that there. Although the instruction manual does show you to replace your solar panels with these, you could definitely display it with your solar panels in this position, just like that there. Well, that looks super cool. I don't know if I'm gonna keep mine displayed like this, or if I'm going to put that Hubble telescope back on its display stand. And of course, we can just remove this here and then this Hubble telescope will fit inside the payload bay, but I really don't know why you would display it like that. That doesn't really make sense. I think having it either like this or on the display stand is obviously the optimal way of doing it. This just is like more interactive, I guess. I'm gonna go grab the uh, other space shuttle that I have, the space shuttle adventure, and compare its size to this one here. And that one's from 2010. And here's a great visual of that, just so you can see how the Hubble fits inside the payload bay there. Pretty spacious. Lots of room for activities in there. All right, check this out. It's pretty funny. So this is the Space Shuttle Adventure from 2010. And even with the rocket boosters and fuel tank, it's not as big as this one here. Do I wish that they included a rocket booster and fuel tank? I don't think so because they've already sort of done things like that. So I don't think they needed to include that in the 2021 model, but I think they've knocked this thing out of the park. I think it's just perfect. This thing can almost fit inside. It's just a tiny little guy compared to it. And this thing is huge. Like let's, let's bear in mind that this, this shuttle on its own is, is just massive, but I'm really happy with the way that the 2021 model turned out. It just is fantastic. I love the addition of the Hubble telescope. You know, they've already given us huge rocket boosters and fuel tank. I think it's cool that they give us the Hubble telescope like almost as like a compromise, you know, and I think it was just fantastic. Overall, great set, fantastic thing. It's uh, $200 in the US, I think $270 here in Canada. It's, it's awesome. I really had a great time building it, and it just displays so well. 
Like we can put the Hubble telescope inside or we can have it suspended above or we can give them their own display stands or we could take the space shuttle off the display stand and have it landed with the landing gear out. Lots of different moving features. It is glorious. That's really about it for today. Just wanted to share my thoughts with you and do a brief review here of the LEGO NASA Space Shuttle Discovery. Have yourselves a great day and thanks for stopping by.